Hey everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review and today we're taking a look at the new DC Collectibles DC Comics Super Villains Black Mana action figure. That's right, Aquaman's arch nemesis makes its way to the new 52 line from DC Collectibles. Now we'll kick off this review with a quick look at the packaging. Um, basically same type packaging we see with all the DC Collectibles figures. Uh, black coloring with with in this particular case red reddish maroon highlights um, figures displayed in a nice window uh, blister pack box packaging so that you can see it clearly before you purchase it um, but other than that not a whole lot of details on the front then on the side we get a look at the actual figure um, along with the uh, credits of who sculpted it in this case this figure was sculpted by Jean St. Jean and also the f it tells you that the figure includes daggers and a hand trident then on the other side we have the shaded in image of the character and then on the back we have a little thumbnail image at the top of the figure along with a little bio about it and then underneath that we have other figures in the line um, in this case we have uh, the new 52 Joker and the new 52 Captain Cold basically the other two DC villains uh, super villain figures that have been released in this line so far and then underneath that we have a picture of the figures uh, the black mana figure uh, standing off against his arch nemesis Aquaman the new 52 Aquaman figure so packaging pretty basic uh, like I said if you've seen one DC collectibles package you've pretty much seen them all so let's get this open and take a look at the figure inside Okay, so we've got it out of the packaging, so let's take a closer look at it. Um, right off the bat, I have to tell you that this is my favorite of the DC uh, collectible New 52 villain figures that have been released so far. Um, originally, I thought I was going to like the New 52 Joker the best, and though that is a nice figure, I think this one actually is, is has become my favorite. Um, one of the reasons is I just love how the um, black and red with silver highlights all come together on it. Um, and he just looks very menacing. Um, but let's take a closer look, starting with the um, helmet, which is probably the coolest thing about it. Well, no, actually the coolest thing about the figure is his backpack, which we'll get to in just a second. Um, but you can see um, on the helmet, it's uh, the helmet itself is made with, or painted with a silver metallic paint, and then he's got some black lining on it, which gives it some nice detail. And then he's got the red eyes, and then they've they've sculpted some nice uh, detailing on the eyes itself. Has a, a rigid type pattern on there. Almost looks kind of like a B or something. And it's very cool and stands out nicely. And then on the back is a very cool backpack that holds all of his accessories: two uh, sword type things and then his trident all fit in there nice and compactly which is very cool um, and then he's got the air hoses that go from his helmet down to the backpack and the rest of the figure is mostly just all black he's got the red stripes on his his collar and he's got the the laser gauntlet that's uh, painted with the same metallic silver like the helmet and the backpack but otherwise the figure is just basic black um, but there's a lot of nice detailing with with the body, with the muscles on the body, um, and just some lining texture for the uniform. And even down here with the boots, you can see some nice sculpting so that the boots stand out. On what would you would think would be a pretty basic figure with it being all black and everything. Okay, so now let's take a look at the articulation on this figure. Um, pretty basic standard articulation that you've come to expect from DC Collectibles. Um, very limited in many ways, unfortunately. Um, but again, if you've been collecting the DC Collectibles New 52 line, it's, it's, it's pretty much what you would come to expect from it. So um, let's start off with a look at the, the head. Um, basic 
you can turn the head left and right and that's about it. Um, you don't even want to turn it too much because it's got the air hoses attached to the backpack and you don't want to rip those off. There's no up and down movement of any type on, on this one. So you've just got, he can look left and right. Then you've got the shoulders um, are attached on a single hinge ball joint. Um, and then he's got the swivel bicep, uh, single single hinge uh, elbow, and then swivel wrist. There is no midsection articulation, um, not even a swivel, no ab crunch of any kind. Uh, the legs are basic T-crotch design. He can move the legs all the way back and forward. Um, single jointed knee and then no no ankle articulation at all. So basic basic articulation not even the swivel at the waist or the swivel ankles like we saw with the Joker figure. Um, but again like I said, if you've been collecting the, the new 52 figures from DC Collectibles, then you're, you're pretty much aware of what you're getting with the articulation. So there's no surprises here. Okay, so height-wise, the figure stands just under 7 inches. Um, he's about the same height as... Well, no, he's actually a little bit taller than Aquaman. He's a little shorter than the Joker though. But again, I think that Joker figure is just a tad little bit too tall. And now finally let's take a look at the accessories, which is one of the coolest things about this figure. Um, he's got two of these sword type dagger things. He's got basically sharp ends on both ends of it. Um, he can hold them in both hands, though it's a little loose in the left hand. So with that one, it's better if you kind of fit it in between his thumb and his fingers. That way he holds it more tightly. Um, and then he has a second sword, which will fit in the other hand. And if that one fits fine. See this one on the this one on the left hand tends to fall out much more easily. So you really gotta kinda tie it into the push it in there between the thumb and the fingers. This hand's actually made more for him to hold his trident. Um, he holds that much better. That's assuming I can get it in there. And so if you want him to have the sword in one hand and the trident in the other, you know, it looks very menacing. And then you can put the other sword in the backpack. And so two holes at the top of the backpack for the swords to fit in. Now one thing I do want to point out is the trident has a, there's these little clips on the backpack where the trident fits into, but the trident, if, if you like start fiddling with the figure at all and stuff and you touch the trident at all, it falls out very easily. So just be wary of that. Um, it just doesn't fit very snugly in, in there, very tightly in there. Um, all it takes is a little touch and it falls out. But still it just looks very cool. Um, in there. I just, I like the look of that backpack. Now the backpack is not removable, um, so that's a permanent fixture on the figure. So there you have it. Uh, Black Mana, you know, I think, like I said, is my favorite looking figure. Um, very basic articulation, but I love the accessories. I love the, the coloring um, and detail. You know, even though it's a very basic 
looking figure at first glance with you know the all black body and everything i just i like the detailing with things like the helmet and the backpack and the gauntlet and stuff those just like really stand out nicely and the eyes i just love that look of it so um Definitely a figure I would suggest picking up if you're collecting the New 52 line from DC Collectibles. Um, definitely a great addition to your rogue, val uh, your rogue gallery, and I would really recommend you pick it up. So that's my review. Hope you enjoyed it, and until next time.